J-Drone here. This is JJRC HAD, and we're going to take this for a flight. I do have a 9 mile an hour wind, but I'm going to record anyway. So let's press the button and make sure we're recording. we got a red light, we're recording. If it was green, we wouldn't be recording. This quadcopter cost me under $100. Uh, came with the quad itself, battery obviously, controller, and uh, an FPV screen. And obviously the camera that's mounted on the bottom of it transmits to the FPV screen. So all that for under hundred dollars, you can't beat it. I really have no use for the FPV screen. It is super cool, especially uh, getting towards sunset. It's very visible to look at, but you're constantly bobbing your head up and down trying to keep orientation with the quadcopter and also trying to see what it's seeing. So I think FPV is more leans more towards racing where you're on a set course or if you were in a large building and you'd be navigating through it I think FPV would, would work for that quite well but something like this I like to be able to see the quadcopter and you can see we're up there this thing has excellent range I've not modded the controller I've not tore the quadcopter open and modded the insides of it it is bone stock. The way I ordered it, the way I opened it, is the way it is. I've done an altitude test on this and just got shy of a thousand feet. And you can see how far I'm taking it out and how high I'm taking it up. This thing like, likes to go out. Um, I believe this is the best quadcopter I have as far as range goes. I have a couple others that come close to about 800 feet, but this one just about hit a thousand and I'm almost positive it could hit a thousand feet I'm gonna have to try that out again at some point because uh, when I did do the altitude test I had low clouds so my visibility got uh, almost nil because the clouds were so low uh, but if I had a clear sky no clouds and did an altitude test I'm super confident I'd be able to break a thousand feet just to give you a look at it there you do have lights on it for orientation. Your blue lights on your left and the right are your left and right side. Your red lights in the back kind of simulate almost a brake light at your back. And you have a white light, again, if you're kind of comparing it to a car, almost like a headlight would be your front. Again, excellent flyer. Um, the camera on it's pretty good and the fact that you get FPV capabilities for under hundred dollars I'm with it um, the only thing I would change about this is the battery that comes with it it's a 7.4 volt 500 mAh battery which only gives you anywhere between five to six and a half minutes I mean granted you could shut those lights off and uh, might get a little bit more but I honestly like pushing about the 10 minute mark. I think this thing should have come with a 800 mAh battery and eventually I'll get more batteries for this and see if we could push that range. Look at that sky. Clouds are low today too. Um, definitely want to get more flight time out of this. This is probably only the fifth or sixth time that I've flown this. It's also durable. If uh, if you buy this it's around $100 range. You're afraid, oh what if I crash it? I've crashed this into the side of a rock ledge and I got it on camera I got it from the FPV point of view and the thing was unscathed there's not even a scratch on the paint so it's it's pretty durable and that video is on my channel if you do want to check it out feel free and check it out and uh, if it ever does get too far out of range that you have to drop it because you can't figure out orientation, I do have a video on how to find it by last sight. That's also on my channel. But once you get flying, you really don't need the lights to orientate. You kind of keep a good visual on it and you can figure out what's the front and the back. Because once you get up so high, you can't see those lights. And then it kind of could be difficult for flying definitely for beginners I know when I started out at this I had issues losing quadcopters because I couldn't see the lights and I relied on the lights but once you get a really good feel for this you no longer need them
and if you can see the blues and the whites are flashing that means the battery is just about shot here and that's a good catch and make sure that red is now green yeah no blue okay I'm sorry it's not a green light it's a blue light um, shut off recording that way we saved it and we'll show you a couple stills here again this is JJRC H8D that's the number 8 which is off to the left of where I was flying that's the abyss in the town that I live in and that's Humboldt that's quite a ways away I'm Jay Drone if you haven't subscribed please do have a great day